Hi everyone, this is YML and today we are going to talk about white skip connections or residual connections as they are also no work and what kind of improvements they bring to the table. The main issue that skip connections solves is that with depth the performance of a neural network doesn't actually increase and as you can see in the figures below the performance of a model without skip connections actually decreases with the number of layers which is a bit counterintuitive with the theory of deep learning which states that the neural network should become more powerful with the increase in depth also, if you want to know more about why depth is important in neural nets, I have made a video that goes into more details about this subject. The link to it is in the description. And now let's see how we can solve the depth problem by looking at the residual block as introduced in the ResNet paper. So what we have firstly is the input x, which is multiplied by the weight, and then the ReLU activation is applied. So until now we have a pretty standard dense layer. But what happens when we go to the next layer? Well, you have the standard weight multiplication, but this time you also add to this operation the input of the previous layer and then we apply the ReLU activation. So basically what is different is that instead of passing the output of the weight multiplication as it is, we also add to the output the identity x, which is the input of the previous layer. Okay, and now let's take a deeper look at why this layer might be useful. So let's suppose that you have a deep neural net to which you add another simple layer without skip connection. And the equation of this layer is depicted on the right. And now let's take the same deep neural net and this time let's add a residual layer which has the following equation. Well, when we take the deep neural network with a skip connection, something really interesting happens. If you use the L2 regularization, then it becomes really easy for our network to make the second or first weight matrix equal to zero, which in turn eliminates the whole term here. I want to add a small note regarding BL and BL plus one. I simply ignore them because they make the explanation nicer and they don't really matter because usually also use L2 for them, so they can also be made equal to zero quite easily. So now going back to our equation here, we have that AL plus 2 of the residual layer is equal to ReLU of AL, which is equal to AL. And thus you can see that by using a skew connection layer, it becomes very easy to reproduce the previous inputs, which is harder to attain for a simple dense layer because to get the same thing, the neural network would have to learn to create the identity matrix, which obviously is not so easy to do. So adding a residual layer doesn't decrease the performance of a neural network because it can easily recreate the input using the L2 regularization. However, not decreasing the performance is not enough. We want to actually improve the performance of the network. So the skip connection layer can be useful. To motivate this, I use here as an example the ResNet model with 34 layers, both with skip connections and without skip connections. So what happens when we want to process the output of some deep layer in either of the networks? Well, for the plain ResNet, the output of this layer depends only on the output of the previous layer, which is a quite hard constraint because maybe some representations from the previous layer might have been more useful for this layer. And this is exactly what skip connections bring to the table. So by using them, the model is not constrained to use only the previous representation, but it can use any previous representation if it so considers more useful. Because again, the skip connection makes it really easy to transfer the same representation from one layer to the other. And I believe that this is especially useful for very deep neural networks because the model is not forced to modify along the layers the representation if it doesn't consider it necessary. And and there are many studies that try to find why skip connections work so well. And here the authors argue that they make the low space smoother and more complex as illustrated in these figures, which might facilitate the convergence rate and stability of the learning model. However, in this world, the authors just point out that this happens, but don't exactly explain why this happens. If you know more about this subject or other studies regarding skip connections, let me know in the comments section. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video, please leave a like to it if you did, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful time. Bye bye!